check what is going on in garage. Uh, my husband and my friends of mine, Roger, they are talking about the big black chef, big black sherry. Sorry, guys, and tamram. They are going to put uh, um, 1966 Chevelle, and let's see what is going on. Um, if you have any suggestion, guys, you're free to comment down below, and and please don't forget to subscribe my. Uh, channel Pabansang Pinay Life in America um, and I appreciate it. Thank you. So I'll just put these right here for right now. That'd be fine. That's cool. Get that done. Hey guys. Welcome Sneak back. Up on us. Oh my goodness. Hey we were just here talking about the big block that we just went through. When did we do that? Just right after the, what January? February? Yeah sometime around there. It was this year. We just went through an overhaul order. Well, this will go in the, the your Chevelle, correct? Yeah, that's the plan. I just don't know if I'm going to use the tunnel ram or the dart intake. Keep it Got under it. the hood or mm -hmm. tunnel ram it. I have another hood for the Chevelle. I have a Malibu hood that's already cut for a tunnel ram. Guys, if you'd like to leave a comment, let us know which you think you should use. The single carb intake or the tunnel, tunnel ram? ram. That'll help us out a good bit. Okay. Let's get out of here and look at that Chevelle. It's yeah. a beautiful car. There's the uh, tunnel ram, by the way. Two six six fifties. Yes. I think that's going to be a good choice. Yeah. It, it give it more of a nostalgic look. No, yeah, that's that's kind of look I'm going with this with the Chevelle. Park this car down in uh, Harper Area. Right. The original owner from 1966. I remember mean, the day you called me and said, "Hey, can we go down and look at a, look at the Chevelle?" <laughs> yeah. It didn't look quite like this. Quite like, yeah. Uh, you have a lot of time, and you put a lot of time into your car. We put a lot of time into it. Right now, it's got. A, I put we put the small block in it last year, so I could enjoy the car, you know, and get it out and go to some shows and do some stuff with it instead of just leaving it sit. But the plan is. We're gonna pull the small block, get the big block, put the big block back in the car because you know I'm going to car shows and people see 396 on yeah. the badging, and then when you pop the hood, it's a small That's block. True. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get the cars out there to enjoy them. Exactly. That's the main purpose of all this. It doesn't matter what you have in your car or what kind of car you have. Drive it, enjoy it, get it out there, let people see it. You know, everybody has a hot rod, no matter what it is. Uh. Like I said, it's got the small block in it. It's got a B&M uh, 350 transmission with a 2700 stall right now. Uh, Automatic, but he's thinking about converting it to a four speed. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm going four speed with this car. That will be a good show. Because the Camaro is the automatic, I'll never yeah. change it. That's done. It's the way I want it. And you've had the seats redone in this car? Well, the, the back seat. seat. The back seat's been redone. I got to redo the front seats and the headliner I want to do on this car. Uh, has new center console in it. Has the new shifter in it for the automatic four. Because in this car originally bought this car, it had a power glide transmission in it. Two speed. Yep.